Okay, so the last on run to our stop. I actually have two kind of stops. I think I filmed a video and put it up of me doing something not to do with the tour. So you may have seen the house, but like not got the story. So my one of my girlfriends booked it for me, like because Airbnb hate me. We given up on them a long time ago. So I get all the codes to go into this place and there and. I had Biggie with me, and she was meant to be. This is hard to talk about. So, she was meant to be staying with someone who cancelled the last minute, and then I couldn't have her in the place I was in. I booked somewhere that wasn't dog friendly, um, just because I couldn't find somewhere dog friendly. That was the issue. I would have loved to have had her with me. It wasn't fun for her moving around, I don't think. So, I ended up calling my mum, who lives on a farm, and saying, just, hey, babes, do you reckon you could come babysit Biggie for a little bit for me? while I'm just kind of getting myself settled. So that's where the Bigster is and it's killing me. It's really hard, but she's so freaking happy. Like she's having the time of her life. Like literally my mum and my sister keep sending me all these like videos and photos of my dog looking so happy without me and I'm like so miserable without her. So like, thanks guys. Mum's like, she's so well behaved here. Like she does everything right. She eats dog food. She's not like the dog I would see in your videos. Okay, mum, come for me a little harder. Sorry. Like, she knew she was the princess here, she could do what she wanted, like, and she took advantage of that. I don't care, that dog saved my life, I was allowed to treat it however I wanted, and I treated it fucking good. Okay, so, she's staying out there on the farm, got another dog she's playing with, playing with, like, my sister's kittens, literally living her best tricky life, so, let's just be happy for her, and know that she'll be back with me soon, because she's also happy with me, she'll be happy in lots of places, okay? Anyway, I'm a bit defensive about the topic, because obviously I miss my puppy, and she was my best friend, so it's hard for me to talk about the process. But Biggie's safe, Biggie's happy, <laughs> Biggie is Biggie, she'll always be Biggie. Say Biggie one more time, Biggie. Okay, moving on. So that first night I, I slept down, it was like this beautiful like two level, like, like it had a loft, it had a spiral staircase, it had like a fireplace, so nice, like I filmed an amazing TikTok of me, like on the stairs, like, I'm loving it sick, check it out. To avoid a potential copyright imagined fancy by Iggy Azalea and Charlie XC playing while this clip goes. My TikTok is just Stevie Harris, it'll be linked down below, so get on that. Um, then, yeah, I sleep on the couch downstairs, I'm kind of just waking up and I hear the door starts open because there was a punch code like let yourself in and I'm like oh my god what the fuck like what is happening I'm not the person meant to be here anyway because like my friend booked it in her name so the door starts opening and I get up and I'm like, and, like he opens the door and I'm like just starting to sit up and I'm like so what are you doing here and he's like I'm booked here he's like I booked in to check in here this morning and I'm like I'm booked in here for a week I checked in yesterday he's like oh my god like I'll check I'll call the owner see what's happening he kind of shuts the door then I'm like messaging the girl whose name it was under. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what do I do? And she's like, oh my god, do you need me to come there? Like, um, like I can try and, and I'm like, no, 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 like it's fine. And like, then he the guy knocked back on the door and put me on the phone to the owners. And I'm like, hi, I'm the friend. I'm, you know, she's just gone to work today. I'm staying here with her. Oh, I'm like stayed here with her last night. Um, what's going on? She and then he was like, okay. Um, so he's like, how did you get in there? Like you're booked in for the one, the other property. And I was like, oh, well, I followed the instructions that were sent to me and they let me, led me here and let me in here. So, you know, don't know what to do. And he's like, did you sleep the last night? I'm like, yeah, but like, I, you know, um, we haven't really unpacked too much. Our stuff's not everywhere. So, you know, whatever's happening. Like, he's like, hold on, I'll get to the bottom of this. Calls his partner who lives close by apparently because he was there pretty quickly. He'd given me the details for the wrong accommodation. And then, which made a lot of sense because like the Wi-Fi code wasn't working and like the instructions kind of changed names of the places. Like in the like in the like how to get in like instructions to the like living manual thing like kind of explain kind of change names like if that makes sense so I, I was a bit confused by that at the start but I was just like whatever so then he had sent the wrong ones so the instructions for getting into one place he sent and I was meant to have the other one so after around it was literally like a walk around a corner in the same like building complex so it wasn't that bad the next place was it didn't have a spiral staircase it still had a loft situation I couldn't stand up in their loft which was kind of annoying but like I had like this one room that was just my wardrobe room. It was really cool. I like, definitely appreciated that. Um, 
a bit more privacy than the other one, no fireplace, but you know, it was really nice still. Um, they were really apologetic and helpful, helped me move my stuff around. I was very understanding, like, you know, it should happen to any party naked. So that wasn't a huge issue. Um, just slight hiccup. And then stayed there for the week, however long it was. I can't remember how long I actually stayed there. I think it was a bit longer. Um, and then while I was there, I was like searching for apartments still. And I kind of broadened my search. So I wasn't just looking for actual full-on apartments. I started looking for like house sitting, whatever, like just subletting or anything that was like going to get me into a place because I, I was desperate. I needed to stop that. That big factor of that was looking at my bank statement and seeing how much it could cost me to live the way I was living. Like it was so like, sorry, I just got messaging, got distracted. It was so exorbitantly expensive. It was literally daylight robbery. So I was like, I can't do this much longer. I'm going to have to move home with Biggie. So I didn't want to move home to the farm. That's not my steez, not my style. Love your family, but like, I'm a city boy, you know? Yeah, no. So anyway, I, I got a call back from a guy who was evidently French. He was going back to France for three months. He does this every year, apparently. Um, possibly four months this year. Who knows? Which, like... Hopefully it is. I love this place. And yeah, like, so basically I'm house sitting for him, paying rent there, um, keeping his plants alive. Fingers crossed. If you're watching this, they're doing great. Um, and yeah, he added me on Facebook. So I might even see this. Who knows? Who knows? He might be really busy over in France. So probably shouldn't have said his name. Uh, we might cut that. Anyway, so it's a beautiful apartment, beautiful area. I love it out here. It's like the other side of, to, of the city to what I'm usually from. Like not not like west or anything no like but like come on girls i'm not crazy but um yeah it's really nice uh, killing me not having bigs so if you are watching this to be who i'm renting from if you are watching this if i'm allowed to have a dog here it would mean the world to me she's so well behaved she's toilet trained she's perfect like i just don't want to like cause any like with your neighbors like so i'm all with you like so that's why i don't have her here but if she were allowed and you were watching this you could let me know I would literally be so happy and can promise you she's not even like not even an issue in the house but like you know i probably should just grow the balls and send that to you personally but i'm scared of your response so not gonna do that i'm just gonna you know keep going not rock the boat and you know just keep on keeping on but the one issue like so that's three months possibly four sorted so tour is on hiatus but then I've got to find a place, which is hard looking because I don't know if I'm going to be here three or four months. So kind of like makes it difficult looking for a place to, because I don't want to leave here a month early while he's still overseas. That's not fair on him. But, you know, so I'm trying to like work out the best thing, the best route to go there while not screwing anyone over, doing the right thing by everyone, including myself, obviously. So yeah, like that's that. Hopefully we don't have to do a like tour 2.0, like, when that happens because i cannot do that again i'm so not like it drains me it really drains me doing it doing life like that like i was literally like life was just doing me dirty and i it was all getting too much like i was really like starting to just be like oh my god like how am i ever gonna get out of this situation it started to seem really hopeless and then you know got some green like some green no smoke up i guess no got like you know a little ray of light and it's got me sorted, like I'm recharging, I'm refreshing, and I'm so ready to just move forward, deal with, like, into expanding my career path, like moving into something slightly new and exciting. Um, so stay tuned for info on that. I don't want to say anything that is too soon to say or what, but that is a little hint in this so you might be able to guess it anyway on that note i'm gonna peace out i'm just gonna keep living my best <laughs> hope you keep living your best and we will see each other soon i'm sure